I got an email. And this email stated that um, there's a repo. And in this repo, this is the ability to get uh, Adobe After Effects installed and working. <laughs> it's NVIDIA only at the moment in time, uh, but they are planning on adding AMD support. There are occasional flickering and certain plugins don't work, I guess. Uh, there's memory management issues, so potential crashes under heavy RAM. But the fact that someone's even working on this is, well, it's kind of cool. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is the way that it looks. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to go with this because this looks cooler. <clears throat> We're just going to click download. Now, here's the thing. They are going to remove the ability to just download this and install this. Uh when the time comes, but after they get everything working, then they're going to do that. So you'll have to provide your own files and stuff. But, you know, this is certainly interesting. I'm not an After Effects fan. I never have been. Uh, Adobe for me is mostly crashing and issues because, well, that's what Adobe is. This is the whole reason I use DaVinci's Resolve. It's a superior software. It could do whatever Adobe After Effects can do and more better more efficiently and i just enjoy it but it's nice to see that someone is trying to get this to run and to work so uh yeah there's logs look at that that's pretty cool now here's what i would technically want from this project in a nutshell for these users these people to you know contribute to wine about their findings, their fixes, things like that. The one thing I want most of all is maybe for them to work on getting the Adobe installer to work uh, for Creative Cloud or even for a pirated copy of Adobe. I don't care. Like, it's Adobe. They can go fuck themselves. These, This is a horrible company that ha adds a cancellation fee to their subscription, all right? They also have the rights to basically use your work as they see fit to basically see all of your work their tos is absolutely uh, malicious so as far as i'm concerned uh adobe can go f themselves from here to the moon and uh i would rather you honestly go support affinity products over adobe any day oh by the way i really should check to see if affinity released anything good uh because supposedly today's the day Today is the day. All right, Alt-T to open up Terminal 1. Okay. I don't, I don't want to. There's plugins folder. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna wait. So how exactly does this install itself? Like where does this install itself? You know what I mean? Uh, let's run it. Okay. I, I pressed run. I'm going to toggle the logs. It's running. Oh my gro googly moogly. My good googly moogly. Uh. Yeah. So. It's run. It's working. Interesting. Project settings. Uh, <laughs> no friggin' way. No friggin' way. That is amazing. I am super impressed for you guys to get this up and running. That's so impressive. I have no idea how to use After Effects, by the way. I am literally the wrong guy for this job. But the fact that this is actually a thing is huge. And I appreciate all the work that goes into projects like this. Like, this is, this is beyond massive. Wow. Look at that. Uh, FX, we have a small precision. Okay, that's fine. Uh, new composition. Sure. Um, new text. Hello, YouTube. Okay. And then I want... Okay. 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 Anchor points. Rotation. 
six. Can I like, can I bring anything new in here? Or new composition, new folder, Adobe, Cinema Max, import multiple files, percentage. Uh, doesn't this usually come with a whole bunch of effects and stuff? Yeah, in here. Uh, blur and sharpen, radio blur. Yeah, there's the 32-bit stuff. And there's that. Again, I have no idea how to use this, but it's definitely kind of cool that this is a thing. Uh, animate text. Enable per character 3D. Oh, no, I don't. There we go. So, how do you do your thing? How do we... Do I just... And I still can't press OK on this. Again, that's OK. Animate. Skew. It just keeps trying to create more and more stuff. Which is the issue. So animator, skew... Let's do that. Skew access. And uh, is there a play button? No? Hmm. I wonder if I've got to set keyframes. Frame, frame blending, keyframe assistance. Oh, yeah. The blurry. The, 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 um, Again, I'm not really good at talking sometimes. The font is a bit hard to read, but that's probably because it's a Windows program. Yeah. There is nothing I could do to show you this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a pre-made project for After Effects, and I'm going to import it. Alright, so we have the project in, and uh, that's okay. Yep. Here we go. Now, I still have this little blue box here, which I cannot click. Okay, that's fine, though. Look at that. That's definitely interesting. I... How do you friggin' press play? <laughs> right there. Okay, I'm an idiot. There it is. Now this uses CUDA for acceleration. So, uh, because of that, let me just play something real quick. Thank you, that gets rid of that. Um, if I open up a terminal, actually I already have a terminal open over here. And I type NVTOP. Now, NVTOP is a tool uh, that lets you see certain things. I'm going to put you guys over there. I'm going to do that. Yes, I can finally click it. All right. And if we hit play, After Effects is using graphics. It is using compute. Look at that. Uh, this means that it's actually using everything that it needs to. It's actually using CUDA. That's awesome. It's not running too well, but it's definitely using CUDA, which is nuts. I don't... I'm going to link this in the description below for you guys to take a look at, for you guys to do what you want with it. But again, uh, it's NVIDIA only at the moment. The fact that After Effects is even working is absolutely brilliant. And I'd like to thank these guys for emailing this out to me. This is pretty freaking cool. It also comes in a flat pack. I don't do flat packs. Uh, but again, uh, it will be in the description below for you guys to take a look at. This has been After Effects. Which version, by the way? 
which version? Which version of After Effects is this? It does not tell me. Oh, there it is. I just had to move it out of the way. Uh, version 24. Wow. How do I get rid of this? There we go. That's version 24. Um, what's the newest version of After Effects? That's what I want to know. What is the newest version of After Effects? Hmm, it's probably like 26 something. 25.5. So this is just one, this is just one major version behind, which is interesting. And if they could get this to work, they could hopefully get the newer version to work as well. So I'm very, very impressed. I like it when projects like this exist. But again, to the developers, if you end up watching this video because, again, you saw my Adobe stuff and kind of inspired you to do all this, I need you to openly contribute, not just to your project, but to Wine, so that one day people can just pirate the Adobe installer for After Effects, because let's be honest, no one wants to pay for this shite, and basically just run the installer and use it afterwards and run it with full CUDA acceleration via Wine or uh, Rock M uh, for AMD users. Okay, this is what this is. This is the cool stuff which we're seeing right now. This is brilliant. I love every second of this. Uh, I, I I'm not good with After Effects. I don't know how to use After Effects or anything like that. But uh, if this works for you, if this is well enough that you could do your work on Linux, let me know in the comment section. I'm sure someone's going to talk shit, you know, because that's what they always do about certain projects like this. Guys, keep it to yourselves, honestly. Something like this needs to be encouraged, not disabled or put down. We, we need to literally hold this type of thing uh, above everything else and just be like, yeah, this is this is the coolest thing ever. Because I love this. This is brilliant. Look at that. We just amped it up to 60 FPS. Can we put it up to 120? Can it? Can it? Can it? Right there. Yeah. We put it up to 120. Look at that. It's using 24% of our... But I'm using 73% of my GPU on OBS. That's funny. Because of OBS, we don't have very much. All right, I'm out. Uh, again, check the description for this project. And uh, it was really, really easy to install. All I did was git clone it, which is git clone. And um, then the GitHub address. And then I installed the prerequisites. So far, there's only dependencies up there for Arch, which is completely fine. And then after that, I just did dash slash run dot sh and it ran so yeah bye everybody subscribe like the video leave a comment all of this helps me and uh i hope you have a great day